What's up everyone and happy Guardian Games! This update 7.3.5 has brought a ton of new changes that we're honestly still getting familiar with, as well as a ton of new god rolls to chase. And this revamped Prophecy Hand Cannon is definitely one of them. For Warlocks, it pairs perfectly with one of our best in slot exotics, but will provide insane utility on any class you want. Now really quickly before we start, I'd have really appreciated if you could subscribe to the channel if you like Destiny 2 or video game content, and if it's deserving, like this video. It really helps smaller channels like mine grow, and you can become part of this community early. Thank you so much. Now getting into the weapon, we're talking about Judgment. This is the new Stasis hand cannon dropping from the boss encounter of the Prophecy Dungeon. Now it's switched from a kinetic hand cannon to a stasis hand cannon, and in my opinion, that's only helped it with these new perks. The ones you see here are Demolitionist in the third column, combined with Adrenaline Junkie. Demolitionist states that kills with this weapon generate grenade energy. Activating your grenade ability auto reloads this weapon from reserves. This is gonna combine so well with Adrenaline Junkie. This weapon gains increased damage and handling from final blows with grenades or this weapon. Now that means you can stack this, stack this perk with kills over and over, up to 5 kills and 5 stacks, which is a very very high damage buff, one of the highest in the game. Or if you get a grenade kill, it will outright go to 5 stacks. It's very very strong, and having a grenade damage perk, combined with a perk that refills your grenade energy, is amazing and this synergy on stasis is fantastic with our subclass. Now we gotta touch on crossing over the origin trait. This is a new one and it states that this weapon has increased range and handling for the top half of the magazine, while rounds from the bottom half of the magazine deal increased damage. It's a very very interesting um, origin trait and I think it's pretty good so we're gonna slot it on here obviously like we have a choice but we're gonna use it and it works very very well with Demolitionist, Adrenaline Junkie, and even more importantly, for Warlocks, Osmiomancy Gloves. I know a lot of you saw this coming, but Demolitionist refilling a, a grenade energy combined with Adrenaline Junkie on Osmiomancy Gloves is going to turn this utility exotic up even higher. It's amazing. Now very, very quickly, I'm just going to swipe through the build so you can see what we're rocking with. We've got a special ammo finder. Stasis Siphon here is important for orbs of power. We're going to use those orbs for a double grenade kickstart. Just when our grenade is low, this will proc a little bit of energy back. And a fastball. Here in our chest piece, we've got a harmonic reserves, as well as a concussive dampener and a charged up. Just if we got a ton of orbs, we can increase those stacks. Of course, a double stasis weapon surge. We've got a time dilation and bomber, double bomber on our class item. Now the harmonic reserves here can be switched out for the reserves that you need. I used to run cold comfort, but since the nerf, we've changed it up. Now we're gonna touch on the subclass. This is the OG cold snap warlock build for Turrets, the GM Warlock build with Osmiomancies. Here it is. Cold Snaps, obviously. You're going to want Ice Flare Bolts, Bleak Watcher. And for endgame content, you're going to want to run Fissures, Durance, Torment, as well as Chains. Now for everything else, mid-game to low content, you're going to want to switch out Chains for Rending. This will give that hand cannon a little bit more damage when you freeze targets. But for endgame, we're going to stick with Whisper of Chains. And the build loop is extremely simple. We're going to actually proc Devour here with Buried Bloodline, which is, a, which is a very niche option here. You do not need to do this. But if you've got Buried Bloodline and can proc Devour on, vo on Stasis, this is just another way to get extra grenade energy. The build loop is get your kills to proc Devour, then pull out your hand cannon, and you can proc Demolitionist and throw your gloves back and forth. Reload the weapon, Demolitionist freezing targets, creating stasis turrets and freezing the entire room. Buried Bloodline does a lot of damage, as well as a great rocket, Crux Termination, to blitz down those heavier, bigger targets. This is a very, very fun build, and it's complete. You actually get all three champion-type stuns with this build. 
anti-barrier, unstoppable hand cannon, and overload rocket. It's so strong. And I'm bringing this build into any content and I have nothing to worry about. Again, I'll swipe through the build. Ice Flare Bolts, Bleak Watcher, Fissures, Durance, Torment, Chains. The Judgment Hand Cannon with Demo AJ and Osmiomancy Gloves. The build is very, very simple, guys. Throw your grenades, refill that energy. It's very strong. Check out this gameplay.
All right, everyone, I hope you can see the potential of this build in endgame content. What I really, really like is all three champions stunning can be taken care of with a hand cannon, sidearm, and a rocket in season 23. And we've got about four or five more months, four, about four months left of this season. So this will work for a very long time. On stasis, Osmiomancy gloves and the judgment hand cannon with demolitionist and adrenaline junkie. Thank you all so much for checking out this video on a really, really fun one. I think Stasis is one of the most underrated subclasses, maybe not on Warlock, but in this game, it got nerfed and it's been overshadowed, so I love builds with Stasis, and I'll hopefully bring you some more in the future. If you want to see any more future builds as well, please, like I said, click that bell icon to be notified when these videos go up. And if it's deserving, subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends and family. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching, and like always, have a good day. I'll see you around.